and welcome to Above Table. I am your Dungeon Master Sky, and it's been a while. It's been, it's been, been a while. while. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know who you very, hang out with. Very not <laughs> yeah, this uh, is very important. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been in the desert and on tour and in other parts of the state and doing lots of adult things. So we haven't been here. But now we're back. I think our last game was the end of March. Something like that. Yeah. Woo. It's been over a month. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been like a month and a half since we last were able to see you. And at least our regular game. We did have our come in one shot. Hopefully you joined us for that. DM'd by our guest John. It was, uh, I had fun. It was good times. I played the Chris Thompson about there. Um, <laughs> yeah. I killed them with camels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to push the push of candles. It's candles. Uh, so we are missing one player today. Amy is out of town, uh, unfortunately, but she'll be back. But we do have five other, or six, five. Five other people. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> counting the cat. Six total. I count myself when I think about numbers. Uh, let's start over here. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kaylee, and my character is a tiefling sorceress, and her name is Katinka Inga Boiga Na 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 Hello everybody, uh, I am uh, John, and I'm playing the paladin Valgan Tor, who seeks justice in all things. And I got to execute my first guy recently, which was great. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Dexter, and I play Duke, the uh, Shadar Kai uh, Echo Knight Fighter Hexblade Warlock. Boom! Got it all! Suck gem. Hello, everybody. My name is Corinne, and I play the Warforged Monk Lena. I want to do a super cut of you saying that because you say it exactly the same every time. <laughs> it's that customer <laughs> service voice. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Eric, and I am playing Armand of House Shilina, and he is a damp fear uh, that is a level one artificer and a level eight wizard enchanter, and he is a level nine, no, no, total level nine, so it's one and eight, so it adds a total of 10. I gotta level up. Oh so, yeah! Uh, anyways, I'm gonna be busy in the first part of this game, and hey! Hey! <laughs> But yeah, uh, wizard level ups. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess your actual fifth level spells because you dipped, right? Yeah. I know. So <laughs> this is going to be fun. That's when we start affecting the rules of physics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Soon. All right. Ooh, seeking spell. Okay. Well, I mean, out of the way. Let's go I, ahead and. Play our fancy introduction situation, which I double checked. It doesn't work this time. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I can remember what buttons to push to make it do thing, and I can't. No, there it is. Alright. Welcome to a bump table. He doesn't have the crisp. He needs to go to Britain and get some potato chips. Oh, 
Also, hello fans, all three of you who are viewing right now. Hello! Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I texted her earlier, I'm like, I hope you're watching. <laughs> we have it. All right, Misty. Tell me if that's so like better. I think I know what was the deal was. I didn't have yeah, it. It's also like, oh, I'm walking. And uh, like, oh, impression of it. Oh, I just fell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right, so previously on Above Table, everyone almost died. Well, not quite as bad as the first time. Dirt net. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this man survived a nuke. Yes. <laughs> uh, you guys, Theoretically. You guys dived into the Onyx Stone and attempted to recapture the Onyx and free the people of Windfall. Uh, after a pretty harrowing touch and go battle, uh, you managed to do just that with the last thing happening as Duke jumping through a portal and s physically smashing the original Onyx um, while it's crested between the original dragon heart stones and taking a drastic impact to the chest. Uh, the rest of you see the contents of the uh, onyx fade into a bright white uh, and you temporarily lose consciousness. Duke. As this flash hits you and everything goes silent and you don't know where you are in, in a moment, for a moment. You feel like you're floating, you don't see anything. You're traveling, but you don't feel a sense of movement. You're arriving, but you don't know where you are exactly. You look down, you see your feet standing on a dark stone surface. And as your vision expands, version of yourself, Shuk. And a unfamiliar female, though her familiarity starts to grow before you stand in her presence. A name. Alondra. And as some memories start to come back to you, you realize you're in the court of the Raven. In the shadow. Okay. Alondra and Shuk stand next to you. Alondra addresses you. Well, she's not super happy. I don't know how much I can help you for the year. The choices will be yours. Best to do what she says. Uh. All right. And, and like, as more memories come to you, you're like, who is this person telling? You? And you start to kind of get some history of Alondra. Some of the things that happened while she was your uh, Dolan. Some more history farther back than that. Lots of pieces of things. A shook dressed you. Good to see you. Hey, man. I'm just gonna see it, too. This appears to be the soon, but, uh, here we are, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you know, I'm always a part of you, whatever you choose. All right. That's good to know. Uh. But as the, your view expands in the space that you're in, Dark throne. It's a little back. You see far away, but you're not sure how far away. Um, the visage of someone in feathered robes. You don't see a face. A single eye of light sparkles forward. And you hear in your mind.
Uh, at, at what? You were supposed to do kill the Onyx. Uh, I, th I think we did that. people that rely on me. I have to go back. As you start running forward, you, you feel a pull at you. As, yeah. you're, as if you're starting to run through something viscous. Um, make an athletics check. Just straight? Yeah. Athletics. Uh, athletics, alright. Okay. Uh, that's a 24, 24. or a 22. Sorry. 22. So you, you get closer and the Raven Queen stops moving. What are you doing? Uh, I, I have to go back. There are people there. Your mic is not working well. It's not working well? What's not working well? Need attention. Oh, man. Is it plugged in? It's plugged in. <laughs> Let me see the thing Oh, I know what's wrong. Oh, no. Uh, Thank you for letting us know. You know exactly what's wrong. Thank you. So also, hi, Amy. Also, hello, hi, Amy. Amy. Hi, Amy. Thank you for letting us know from Minnesota, eh? I was recording vocals, you guys. <laughs> so I had a different microphone plugged in, but this one is now back. Oh. Hopefully you guys heard that well enough, because it was very cool. I know, it was, it was cool. Really it was good stuff. Is Thank it good now? It. Give us it the thumbs good. up if it's good now. Or like the dancing something. emoji. It's got to be something, right? Yeah. At least we caught it early. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for letting us know. Feedback. It had to be something technical. Yes, for any second now we're going to get... Uh, Misty called it. I did. I checked. Oh, I didn't know what was wrong, and I didn't oh. think about the, the other thing. I thought just the... Uh, I thought just the uh, compressor was off, so I turned the compressor back on, but it was more than just one thing. It was, in fact, two things. It was, in fact. Because the compressor things. was off, but also the mic was not plugged in. <laughs> Is it good to go now? Okay, yeah. We're awesome. Thumbs up. All right, rad. Cool. The grocery store can hear us. Okay. <laughs> the grocery store can hear us. <laughs> the grocery store. Yay! Okay. So, as the Raven Queen has told you that your mission is over, that you're to be continue to stay in the uh, the court of the Forgotten and await some sort of repri uh, reprimand, reprimand, uh, you start running towards the Ra Raven Queen. You rolled a twenty-two. You said, "Yeah, okay." So you make some progress. You you continue forward, pushing against all odds. This feeling of re repulsion that you that you're Experiencing as you try to get closer to yeah. this this god in front of you, um, and she she says again, "What are you doing?" I, I did my duty. I did what I thought I needed to do. There was no guidance. There wasn't anything. I stopped the onyx the only way that I had at my disposal. Are you continuing forward? Yeah. Another athletics check. Uh, 20. 20. You make some more progress. It's starting to get even harder the, more, the closer you get. It gets even more difficult to continue forward. You can't reach me. What do you expect to do if you get here? To bargain. With what? 
I give you all the power you have. He's not smart enough. <laughs> <laughs> I love the doom balls. In your That's, head. I got, a, I got a nat one to see if I could make the argument that, uh, no, your power comes from me. <laughs> uh, and I rolled a nat one. Um, within your head, you hear Shook. Hey, man. There's more to it than what she's saying, I think. Yeah. Like what? I don't think it's entirely true that you're powerless. Uh, what, yeah, like what you mean? Well. Because I, I got nothing. Uh, technically, I am not given to you by the Raven Queen. You're, you're going to have to play that one out for me, man. Uh, technically, you sort of manifested me out of necessity and uh, had a lot of weird conversations over the decades, centuries but um, yeah, she she didn't create me you did do what you need to do make another athletics check oh, this dice is over here now <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Uh, that's an 11. 11? Yeah. You start to get pushed back a little bit, but you still hold in position. Even though if you, you, you lose some ground, you still you don't get blown back entirely. Um, as, she, I... as she kind of like a powerful blast of shadow energy uh, pushes forward like, You're nothing without me. I am death. I am the forgotten. I am the arbiter of memory. Uh, if I can, I would like to uh, do a thing. Uh, uh, I don't know if you'll let me do this thing, but I can, uh, uh, I can swap places with my Echo. Uh, I can teleport to him. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I can, as a bonus action, resummon him 15 feet in front of me. Um, and so I want to do that uh, repeatedly over and over again as a way to move forward. So you're, you're summoning and switching? I'm summoning and switching repeatedly as a way to move forward so that I don't have to keep making athletics checks. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, as you... So as you start to progress forward... Yeah. Uh, you get to a point where you're really close to the Raven Queen. Mm -hmm. Like, right there. And she's like, <sighs> the defiance is almost sexy. <laughs> um, I would have you make one last athletics check or another check of your choice if you can give me a good, a good reason why it would be something else to get this final distance to the Raven Queen uh, I think athletics is the best I've got so let's do that okay Uh. <laughs> Above table, you just got catcalled by a god. Yeah. yeah. I'm starting to think that all deities are groomers at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's a 26. Yeah. yeah. I rolled an 18 on the die. So as this, like, uh... You know, barrage of shadow and black feathers starts hitting you in the face, feeling like little cuts on your chin and your shoulders, um, as if you're in a basically hurricane gale force as she pushes you back with her will. Yeah. You get right to her face. Yeah. What do you say? Uh, I look at her in like that singular, like side glanced eye or whatever, and I'm like, uh, 
I know you think I failed, but you cannot sway me from my purpose of getting back to where I belong. The wind stops. Do you choose exile then? Only if you make me. I have no time for betrayers. Very well. You are stripped of your title of Duke. You are now only Delthavos, formerly of the Forgotten Court. Be gone. And in a blast, you're sitting in overdrive in front of Juana. What? Where? What? Where the fuck did you come from? I mean, hey, Duke. <laughs> Sorry to, uh, I just, I thought I was, it's morning time, so not usually anyone in here. You all right? No. I'm not. And as that small conversation happens, Overdrive starts filling with all kinds of people that look a little worn out. They're like, (gasps) We're back! We're back! (sighs) And then run up to the bar, they're like, When did this turn into a bar? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck it, give me a drink! And Wanda's like, What the hell is happening? And uh, some people start ordering drinks. Some people like hug each other, and they're passing out. And all of this commotion is happening around you as you sit still at the bar. No drink in front of you. Realizing what's happened, and you feel a touch on your shoulder. And you turn, and you see Alondra. For what's worth, I think you made the right choice. I won't be a Dolan anymore. And your duties as a member of the Forgotten may be done, but we're still friends and you'll still see me. Noted. And in your head, you hear Shook. Well, I guess uh, anything you want to know, don't need to hold it back from me anymore. Um, I guess was kind of the point, right? Just in case this happened. At least that's what you told me before. Right. Alondra turns and was like, um, before I go, there's something you might want to have. And she brings out a backpack. Uh, what you might call a haversack. And starts pulling out notebooks and notebooks and notebooks of paintings and just stacks them all up. There's quite a lot in this bag. Um, all of them by versions of you. Be an interesting study, I'm sure. Some of them are events of your past. Some of them are just for the sake of it. But. Be seeing you. Yeah. And in that quiet moment, the rest of you <laughs> pop into overdrive. What do you do? So I'm in the middle of going, get back here! <laughs> 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 um, oh, you're okay. <laughs> I spin a top and I watch it. And I just... <laughs> 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 Last thing I remember, I was tripping, going up the stairs to that portal, so I guess my head just goes through a corner of the bar. <laughs> as I, well, I was like, hey, uh, it's easy there, easy there. <laughs> I don't know if you've been over, sir, but you're a fucking robot. I don't know if that's possible. I'm fanning. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking solid gold. <laughs> 
Uh, I start looking for the queens. <laughs> they're uh, they're just outside of overdrive, but they come in like, well, it's quite different than I remember. Do I still have talons of thought? Yes, you do. Okay. And I have this haversack full of paintings. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um. Also, all of your warlock spells no longer work, and we'll talk. Okay. More about what that means, but all of your Echo Knight stuff still does, and you have your Echo Knight back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, for the the royalty of the queens, mm -hmm. uh, and I I try to gather them to a table as I have some wine and other drinks brought in. Allow me to get you caught up, and also this will be a little bit of your assimilation because things are a little different here. They don't exactly follow a monarchy here. I know, big surprise, but <laughs> they are like, uh, well, so we've been from what you've said before, um, gone quite a while, and to be honest, we're a little tired of being in leadership. If Windfall has established its own leadership outside of us, far be it from us to try to uh, usurp that and reinstall ourselves, we're just happy to be out of that situation we were in, to be honest. We uh, plan, and we've talked, we've, our plan is to be community leaders, help with reassimilation of all of these hundreds and hundreds of people that have been gone for a thousand years and they will probably need some help and work with your other leaders to make that as uh, smooth as possible and find places for all these people to yes. integrate themselves and work. Reintegration, absolutely. First, we'll probably need to definitely stop by at least, um, uh, what is it, immigration offices. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, or at least maybe, not, maybe, would it be immigration? Since they're not really coming here, they're actually coming back from a thousand years, so maybe it would be the morgue or whatever records. Oh, look, the morgue. The swaying. <laughs> yeah. Bobby just like turns the letter and goes, can you go get the father from the way of mercy? So, yeah, what I'll do is, yeah, <laughs> we'll just help people, you know, land down, but I send out message uh, to our, our leadership, uh, um, you know, within our agency. I think we Spam. Can. Yeah, we got spam. 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 That's how you know you're legit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm trying to remember our boss there... here. Uh, Fenwick. Fenwick. And Days. Days, I was going to say. Days and Fenwick. So let, send them that we're back and we need uh, we'll, 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 we, we need some paperwork and admin administrators uh, to help us reintegrate hundreds of lost uh, or for people. To so yeah, after a short time, especially after sending out that message, um, a few of the Jupiter Elite and a few other authority figures. Uh, Lord Dalgrad comes down, Jimmy the Juice. <laughs> they all, they kind of all converge on on, on um, uh, Overdrive, and Overdrive is starting to get pretty full. Um, How many people a lot, were still people, roughly? Probably like four or 500 people. Okay. Yeah, so not like tens of thousands, but like quite a lot. Um, if you imagine like Especially during the main war part, a lot of people were probably leaving anyway. So it was mostly soldiers and people that didn't have anything else anywhere else to be, or other otherwise engaged in trying to like hold things down. A couple thousand uh, years of those numbers getting worn down too. Fair enough. Um, so a lot of people are are converging within overdrive and starting to look a little confused, a little. Um, some of them are worried, some of them are like really excited. Most are pretty happy, you know, like to finally totally. be out of there. Um, you see uh, Venwick come into the bar, sees all the commotion, and uh, gets up on the stage there. Can I have everyone's attention real quick, please? Over here, look, eyes up here, quiet, quiet down, quiet down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm still gathering all the information. Yeah. Uh, when he, sorry to interrupt, when he starts doing that, mm -hmm. I grab my haversack and the thing, and I walk up to the room that has all of the stones in it, and the onyx, and I just sit. Okay, so like, up in the... Yep. Okay. Um, and I just watch it. Alright, so yeah, so you're up you're up in the, uh, the throne room, basically. Yep, the throne room, where the onyx is, or where I think it's gonna be, and if it's there, then I just... Sit and I watch it. It is in fact there, as long as well as all of the, yep. the dragon heart stones. And I will sit and watch it unless anybody wants to like follow me or anything like that. But I will do. I will roll a stealth check to leave if people want sure. me to do that. I roll it with disadvantage. Oh <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna roll perception on that. One. <laughs> I'm bad at that. 
<laughs> I think. What would, it, would it be perception to? Yeah, get an eight. An eight. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of commotion. I'm clanky. What was your actual? Well, what was your set. regular? What was your regular <laughs> roll if you didn't have disadvantage? If I didn't have disadvantage, if I rolled straight. If I rolled straight, well, I rolled two. I would have got a seven or a seventeen. Seventeen. We'll go with the seventeen because it's pretty loud in there. Okay. Then I got an eighteen. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty easy to like <laughs> dove between some people and stuff like that um, as people are hugging and like. Being like, well, this used to be just like a, a ballroom. This is now a bar. This is crazy. Um, and uh, Ven Venwick addresses everyone like, um, this is nothing short of a miracle. Um, I understand from what little information I've gathered that uh, we have some specific people to thank for your rescue, it seems, um, which was not a plan in the broader sense, but definitely something that's going to be helpful in what's coming, unfortunately, which is more war. Welcome to the fray. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to celebrate a little bit, and we're going to recognize those who have helped you. Um, if I could get the members of the Sunless Sky to just come up and so we may recognize you all. Yes, yes, yes. So you, do you I've all make your way to the stage? tiptoed away to go get... Um go get the father from the way of mercy so okay, I'm not so you're there. not there you're there you're <laughs> there you're there I'm I think Ro there. is also probably there Ro's not Ro's not no, no you haven't seen Ro yet she's in Minnesota oh. <laughs> <laughs> a far off land yeah. named the mine of yes. <laughs> Fisito I I would like tiny to, coke I would like to catch Benwick's eye I'm posted in front of the doorway that he went up because mm -hmm. I noticed him go up and I'm just gonna go up towards that throne room and just stay in the front of that doorway to keep people from going up. Okay, so you guys gotta remember the throne room is like a very far. Right, but I'm not letting anybody go through that up that stair. Okay, I got you. All right, so you don't get on the stage with Venwick. You just watch that door. Though. Yeah, but I, I get his attention to be like, you know, and just stay where I'm at. Okay, so. Basically, Armand and Katinka go up on stage. <laughs> I'd rather, oh, thank you, we're happy to be here. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense. It's Armand, the guy that likes to talk, and Katinka, the very charismatic boob sorceress. Well, there's, I mean, there's other members, but uh, well, you guys can be surrogates. I see Valgan up there doing valgan things, and uh, I'm sure Duke is sulking somewhere, and Ro is... I mean, who the fuck knows where Roe is? But anyway, <laughs> I, Venwick, would like to publicly thank you all for putting yourselves in places that you weren't required to do. Um, personally, for me, you've been helpful, but also for the city at large. You have literally transformed the city from one of the darker corners of the world to actually a pleasant place to be and with more people represented and, and talking than we've ever had as far as I can remember and knowing my history as far back as when the queens were in charge. Speaking of, for those of you that have just arrived, I'm sure you will recognize your two queens. I would like to personally meet you. If you don't mind coming up, the queens are like, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. And they come up and they... Uh, First, have a little small conversation with Venwick, and, and off this, you two can hear, like, now we're here, as, as we briefly spoke before we got on stage, to only be liaisons for those that are trying to reacquaint themselves. Um, so please tell, tell us if we get out of line with anything we say. And then they turn to the rest of the crowd, and like, loyal subjects, <laughs> and new acquaintances, and denizens of our fine city of Windfall. I am Queen Kara, and this is my sister Tara, and uh, a thousand years ago, we had a bit of a problem, where we got stuck inside this black, big black bowl. Uh, no pun intended. No pun... Anyway, so uh, we don't do public speaking very well, so we're going to move on very quickly. Uh, we <laughs> swear our fealty to the Council of Windfall and the... Uh, generous leadership of Lord Venwick, who is, we can already tell, is a very gracious leader. And we are committing ourselves to helping all of you who have, we've been stuck with for a quite a long time reintegrate into this new city. And I want everyone to keep in mind that it's not at all the same as it was. 
Don't expect anything to be usual, even though the walls may be made of the same things, the people are not. So please, treat everyone with respect. Don't assume that your homes will be there because someone else has long taken your home. We will find you new homes and new jobs and new things to do. And we will rebuild. And it's vastly better than being stuck in a layer of a shadow monster. So, fuck yes! Valiant's <laughs> just like, it's a pretty good mercenary company that could always use experience, just saying. <laughs> Make Windfall great again! No. <laughs> Yeah, the, queen, the, the queens are like, now if it wasn't for all of those, those people from the south in, <laughs> coming over our border. <laughs> we need to <laughs> bigger, <laughs> bigger, bigger <laughs> more. Down with fire stuff. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, and and uh, uh, Venwick's like, um, well, we don't have a lot of discretionary funds, but I do believe at least a few drinks for everyone is within the budget for such an occasion. So, Wana, if you don't mind, um, and a few a few guys come up to Wana and they're like, um, hey, we used to work bartending when we were in before the stone. We could help three. And Wana's like, sure, yeah, yeah, here you go. Gives them a couple of aprons and they go they go to town. One thing we want to address everyone in the audience, those who are familiar friends and those who are new ones. Uh, this is, simply put, we're not only just rebuilding Windfall, um, we're also preparing to defend it. Let us all not forget that in just a few handful of weeks, we could expect days. an army. Uh, days! Uh, coming. <laughs> <laughs> so for those looking for a job, um, let's. here's a weapon, here's a shield. We need your help. Welcome back! <laughs> yes, welcome back, and not ask what Windfall could do for you, but what you could do for Windfall. Thank you. <laughs> Tinka, do you want to say anything? As, as everyone <laughs> looks, so as you're the only one that hasn't said anything that's on stage yet, the queens look at you, Venwick looks at you. Fire! <laughs> yes, that, very good. Fire, fire hot. That, that's excellent point. All right, so. And, oh, sorry, can I? Yeah. I was going to say, just get one of you guys to switch places with me real quick. Oh. I just don't want anybody to bother Duke. Um, and I'll, I'll take the stage, and I'll be like. I'll I send Louis down, the little bat, to fly. <laughs> as, long, as long as it's being watched, yes. we know what's up. That's the important part. Um... <laughs> just. I was spacing out. I was like in my own head, and then like you said justice, and then five seconds later it clicked. It was justice. <laughs> just the tiniest of justices from my left. What's coming is likely to be one of the most difficult times this city has seen since the Onyx attack. This is not going to be something that is easy. It's not going to be something that other people are going to save you from. Me and the rest of the Sunless Sky cannot do this without you. This city needs to rise up together as one. The city has chosen its leader, and he's a good one, and we are here to support you, but we need everybody on that line. This is your home, this is where your lives are, and this is where your families are. And this is where we are going to seek justice for the rock crimes that have been committed against you and this city. This is going to be hard, but you can do it. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah! <laughs> can we drink now? <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the one of the new bartenders grabs a bottle from under the thing and starts pouring it, and Wanda's like, oh, nope, 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 that is... Uh, not for anyone else. Let's put that back. Orca shale is not to uh, oh. drink lightly. Uh, any of these other ones. <laughs> um, and uh, trays of food are starting to be brought out. Uh, Kel comes in with like trays of muffins and other pastries. <laughs> but I'm going to count, uh, ignore the uh, celebrations, can I? I mean, some of these people are like ancestors of mine, right? <laughs> I think that guy, maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, so general sort of feelings of guffawness. Uh, I want to observe this very closely, because you were saying that the people that have been trapped in the Onyx have don't didn't eat 
for like a thousand years. So yeah, so like they, they are, all of a sudden they're now eating and drinking. Like they like have to relearn how to eat. They are they are, they are like what their stomachs like. <laughs> it's like they put something in their mouth and they like have that sort of euphoric face or like oh my god this is the best food I've ever had. Um, and one is like that's that's just the table flower decoration that <laughs> there's actual food behind you and then they they eat that and they're like oh my god this is way better. <laughs> um, and the, and the same with drinks, they're like having a, having some mead and stuff like that, and they're like, oh my god, this is the best day on planet Earth. Do you have a name for the planet? I was just going to say, is this Earth? Amios. 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 <clears throat> An old of Amios. <laughs> oh, I, I had forgotten. Yes. Uh, so while they're doing that, um, Duke, um, Duke is gonna try to, uh, um, use Mage Hand and press the digitation and stuff while he's up there. And at, like you said, you said it's not gonna work. It does not work. He tries to use, um, uh, like some of his other, uh, Warlock spells. Mm hmm. Uh, like Hex and Darkness. It just doesn't work. He tries to uh, teleport. The Raven Queen's Blessing? Yeah. Doesn't work. Um, he... Uh, and as he cycles through these things and as, he, as Duke tries a thing after a thing after a thing, stuff that he took for granted that was given to him by the Raven Queen and things he traded and sacrificed for to acquire in the first place. Yeah. The reality of what he's been separated from starts to set in. He, yeah, because uh, he does. And what he sacrificed to be here. Yeah. And finish what he started. Yeah, because he also, because he'll throw a talent of thought and see if it comes back. It does. Okay. The power um, of talents of thought seems to be inherent to the weapon itself. Okay. Um, so Talons and Thoughts properties seem to be inherent to it. Mm -hmm. Um. And as Duke kind of does some more of this, Shu pops in. Uh, hey man, it's gonna take a little while to figure out how to do this stuff on your own, huh? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, yeah, maybe this will, this stuff here will help. And I like pat the haversack, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll open it up and I'll start looking at the, the paintings. Um, roll a perception check. You see, sorry, at twenty-two. You see images of creatures and landscapes and places that you don't remember. But as you see the pictures, some of the memories start to come back to you. As Shuk starts pointing at some of them, like, "Oh yeah, that's where we uh, we fought this one thing." It was like, I mean, two hundred years ago now, but it was pretty cool. It, was, it had like nine arms. Which is a weird number of arms. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was eight, like eight normal arms and then like one arm in the middle of its chest. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But that's it was a, all pincers. That's a pretty weird number of arms. It's pretty weird. Pretty weird. It's pretty weird. Yeah. You uh, you stabbed it in the face. That seems like me. Yeah. That seems like me. Well, we, what could be called its face? It's hard to tell. It had a lot of arms. Yeah. Just yeah. arms everywhere. It's just... It didn't have a an, a face for an arm. Not not that we could tell, but I mean, like it sort of popped out of the ground, and it was sort of like coming at you, and you had to yeah you had to do the thing. So. Yeah, if Ro were here, she'd say nine arms is too many arms. Uh, yeah, yeah. She'd be like, yeah, nine arms is too many arms. There's so many arms, I don't know why. That's pretty good, right? I've been working. That's pretty good. One. I, yeah, yeah. 
She probably starts shooting off its arms or something. It's, yeah. I, yeah. I, hey, this is interesting. And he kind of opens the book and he's like, uh, there's a picture of a shadow Shadarkai sitting in front of uh, some stones. Very similar to what's happening right now. Well, that's... I mean, you're... We're already... We're sitting... How did you draw this? I... I, I don't... I don't know, man. It's very spooky. What did I draw this in the... Wait, so I already painted this. So and it looks like the moment right now. Mm-hmm. So, but I painted this in the past. Yeah, I mean, definitely. We haven't time traveled or anything. Maybe in the past you met someone that could predict the future, and then you drew that. I don't know. I'm speculating here. Yeah, I have no idea. Can I roll an intelligence check to try and put it together? Sure. Minus with a minus one. <laughs> the seventeen. Seventeen. Not, not bad. <laughs> not bad. It's like the. It's like I'm not gonna lie. It's the fourth eighteen I've rolled in a row. Um, as you flip through some more of the book, you see some other moments that you've experienced recently, and as you flip through a few other books, you see a couple other moments and. It's almost documented in a... As if it was described to you kind of way, rather than you looking at it firsthand. Um, And that's kind of what you pick up on. You're like, at at some point you were taking someone's description and and drawing it. Um, That's kind of all you can pick up, even with the 17. But it's not necessarily that you saw it yourself. It's that you drew something someone was telling you. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got something there, shoot. This is definitely somebody describing a thing and me drawing it down. Me painting that. Uh... Yeah, this is this is this is weird. So do we know any do we know any chronomancers? Uh no. Not that I know of. But our uh, collective memories are still a little spongy and they're probably gonna take a while to line themselves up. Yeah, that's fair. Uh Okay. Do any of the paintings have row in them? Uh one does. And as a matter of fact it's the uh it's uh now this one looks like you painted it yourself. Yeah. And it was just before you. It was actually the last painting in the original book that you had, that you gave up recently. Um, and it's uh, just row shooting an arrow into the throat of a goblin or something like that. Okay. Okay. I was just gonna say, like, while this is going on, goblins gonna come up. Drop off my bail and be like, I'll be downstairs and I'll be allowed to take all the time to eat. Meanwhile, Armand's exact opposite, talking to all the fans. Like, no, 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 enough about me. What do you think about me? <laughs> Katika, what are you doing? Katika's going around just happily waving her flames around, but subtly. Her tail has a flame about her, too. Just kind of glowing happily. Now, I'm not saying that I'm a fighter, but I definitely tanked the boss half the battle. <laughs> I'm just saying, he kept coming after me. <laughs> and during all that, Lena, I have a very punchable face. <laughs> uh, I think, you know, at this point, I've already scooped up the, um, the father from the Way of Mercy. He's like half dressed. I couldn't care less. All right, you are, I'm like hold on. piggybacking At least give me pets on. I know you're not modest, but I am, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
we gotta go, Father. Like, I'm, I'm real, I'm real sorry. I'll make it up to you later. I swear. Um, and I don't know what exactly happened after uh, Armand and Tinka and the gnome um, messed with me, but I guess the springs in my legs are a little tighter wound, and I'm moving a lot faster. And by a lot, I mean a lot. So I'm like sprinting through yeah, the Fre streets. Frederick is like, oh, well, I'm not <laughs> as, as fast as you, hold please. Yeah, above the table, like I got another 20 feet of movement. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> so I'm like really going yeah, after it. 50, 50 yeah. yes. Base, yeah. And so I know that it's important for me to, you know, obviously get back as quick as I can. Um, so I'm like sprinting through the streets all the way to overdrive. And as soon as we get in the door, I gently put the father down. <laughs> and I just like go sit off to the side like, oh my God, I'm so tired. Uh, Frederick has taken everything in like, oh yes, I see why. I should be here. There's quite a quite an influx. Um, and yeah, you see him close his eyes for a minute. You recognize it as a sending spell, and he does it a couple times. Uh, a few more acolytes are on their way. We'll help help sort some of this stuff through. Thank you for bringing me here. Um, and as you find yourself a seat, uh, Juana comes up to you like, "Hey, I got uh, got some of that special stuff that uh, you seem to be immune to. If you want, take the." biggest container you have and point me in the direction of where Balgan went. Alright, well, I mean, the biggest container is just the bottle. Alright. <laughs> he I hands take, you a bottle of Orcish Ale. I take the bottle. And uh, points at the the door, where it's, mm. I mean, you're still standing in front of. Yeah, I came back down. Okay. Yeah. So you see you see Valgan kind of parked at the top of where the, the switchback stairs go all the way up to the, the throne room, as well as your old room. Yeah, so... I think I'm gonna weave through the crowd over there and just kind of stand there and like offer to top him off a little bit. And uh, Valgan? Yeah. So she offers you a bottle of, of Orcish Ale, and you recognize the bottle. Yeah, no, I've, I've had it before. Right, that's what I mean. I mean, it's technically your guys' bottle. Yeah. Uh, I will have a drink slowly. I'm not shooting it again. It's not shooting it. Slowly. Give me a Constitution save. Low DC. And then in another. Uh, drinking sure. cup, I pour out another bit um, for Duke whenever he's ready to come down. And uh, the rest, I make eye contact with Balgan as he's sipping his, and I just 12. tilt <laughs> it back all the way. <laughs> so even though it doesn't do anything negative to you, <laughs> the sheer amount of it, you start to feel like <laughs> and it has a pleasant effect. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm so like... Magic be like, make three constitutions. <laughs> <laughs> make 37 constitutions. <laughs> Do you have resistance? No, it's immunity now. Is it immune? Oh, you have poison. immunity to poison. Damn. Yeah. It's got wholeness of body. That's wholeness of body. Yeah. Damn. So, Damn. Yeah. Um, I'm like, we almost died. Uh... I needed that. Yeah. Oh, I get that. And this is going to be one of the best things we've ever accomplished. Mm. We just stopped a demon god from entering the world. And now it's a power source. Well, I don't know how I feel about the second part of what you said, but I think we still have war on the horizon to consider, but for now, I'm going to attempt to get robot wasted. <laughs> attempt to get robot. I want to get robot wasted. Yeah. He's already <laughs> dead. Yeah. Well, so. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe then. <sighs> You don't have to be the carriage designated driver, okay? <laughs> I'll be fine. Hey, he's the guy with, like, what is it, fine steed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I think I'm going to go over and chat with the queens and with Armand and Katinka, help kind of get them up to speed. Um, okay. Well, as you kind of work your way through the crowd, you run into Tolan. Uh, literally, he's like underneath the crowd. You didn't see him very well. He's like, hey, hey I'm down here. That, I, I know I'm small and tiny and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm right here in front of you. Oh, it's good to see you. You, you look a little worse for wear, no offense. 
Well, and I like pick him up so I can be in like eye contact. <laughs> with him. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. I that's feel like good. crouching down would be really rude. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. So I'm, up, I'm, uppies is less rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a giant people take Uppies is less rude. <laughs> uppies! <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, I'm going to put him on top of giant. a table, okay? I'm not just going to hold him in the air. <laughs> and he, hey! <laughs> so I set him down on top of the table, and I'm like, all right, um, yeah, uh, story time for later. Uh, I can guarantee before war comes for everybody. Um, well, I was going to see if you need another, uh, I was going to say, another tune-up might be in order for you. Oh, absolutely. Um, are you celebrating tonight? Fortunately and unfortunately, I am. Well, knowing your uh, proclivity for having things not affect you at all, I've don't gone to the uh, liberty of, of establishing something that will do just the trick for you. Amazing. Although, for side reasons, can you tell me where I can get Dream Flake from? Why in God's name would you want some Dream Flake? I don't want it. I'm not going to use it. It's for something else. I'm like, oh, wait, never mind. See you later. And I walk over to your mom. Our mom knows when he's needed. I open up my jacket. He gives gives you a small potion that's got like a thick black substance in it. And he tells you that uh, if you want to get robot wasted, that'll help. Amazing. And I just stash that in my bag. <laughs> All right, so you make <laughs> yeah. your way you make your way over Gasoline. to Armand. <laughs> oh yes, I pull out my party box. <laughs> so party box. what are we feeling up as? Are we feeling downers? Do you want to just be more talkative? Um Well, none of this is for me, Armand. I'm pretty sure it won't work. Um Well but I have my ways. <laughs> There, we'll experiment maybe after this is over with. All right. I'll, I'll bear the brunt of some of your experiments, I think. Um, Tolan, help me. Anyway, um, <laughs> but I need a, I don't know, dose or two, I guess, of Dream Flake that I can take to uh, someone in need of it. Okay, well, I have... And I'm willing to pay for it. No, no, you're with me. The first one's always free. So, uh, yes. So gracious. <laughs> so I have Dream Days. It's kind of nice. And then I also have Nightmare Nectar that will really fuck you up. Which would you like? Probably the Daydream okay, stuff. Okay, Daydream days. Um, <laughs> Nightmare Nectar. Yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes you just want to have a bad high. I'm just saying. you got to get it out of your system. Mm-hmm. Are you well, talking about like strains that. of dream flake? Is that yeah, right? I'm just making stuff up. Making stuff up. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Amazing. All right, so yeah. with what dream specifically with dream flake, and you would know this, is um, it's pretty hardcore. Mm-hmm. Comes out of Droville. Um and uh, yeah, the two different kinds you have do have a little slightly different uh, variations to them, and mostly just in the way that they're mixed. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, extremely expensive, extremely hard to get, don't have much of it. Sure. No problems. I know where I where my supplier is at, and I think it's upstairs of the Black Dragon. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's go up there anyways. Do some shopping. Black Dragon. Yes. So yeah, you you, uh, you acquire yourself a small vial of Dream Flake. Okay. And before anyone else notices, I kind of just tuck that into my robes too, and just now, continue to in case You do want to experiment with it. I sometimes have to ingest it with blood, or I get someone else wasted on it, and then suck their blood. You might have to mix yours with oil. Just saying. <laughs> well, that's an idea I hadn't considered, but... <laughs> who knows? Uh, Is uh, any of Katika's family members or Adrian around? I was going to say, Adrian um, is weaving his way through the crowd, and you spot him. Mm-hmm. And he kind of like waves at you. He's holding two drinks. And he comes up, he's like, Hello, I'm sorry to interrupt you. You see, it's a good time. She reaches out her hand and takes the drink. He cheers as you. Uh, hearing the rousing speech of your uh, leaders, it is apparently very good that you're still alive. 
I'm very thankful you're still alive. I had no idea you were going on such grand adventures like that. Seems to be the only kind I'm moved into nowadays. But Seems so. You've. I wouldn't be alive so without everyone else here helping now. You have some very good friends. Extremely good friends. I'm happy for you. I miss you. I miss working together. I miss our time in the uh, Cup of Blood when you were running the tables and we were working together so close all the time. I know I apologized before, but I just want to apologize again for not misleading you, but lying by omission and about your grandmother. I was so sure you would leave and I was selfish. Well, I guess I can forgive you. Because, you know, could have died. And there's a lot worse, you know. We're okay. Okay. He cheers you again. Um, you look down at your stopwatch. <laughs> this one? And it hasn't done anything since you got it from your grandmother. And then all of a sudden, it winds itself up and it starts ticking down. Huh. So do I, can I stop it somehow? Or I you can try. It? Mm -hmm. she, push, she like, pushes buttons and things nothing, around it. Nothing stops it. I'm not sure what to think of it. And now it's just got this slight sound coming from it at all times. Adrian is like, is it uh, done that before? No, this is the first time it's made any noise. How long have you had it? Only since before I went into the portal. So, a couple days? Yeah. You got it from your grandmother? I did. Maybe. Yeah. She gave it to me. Maybe you need to ask her about it. It'd be good to see her again. Yeah. Especially on the eve of battle. It's good to see family. Do you want to come with me? Oh, I, I don't know if I... Come with me. Oh, okay. I... If you insist. I could apologize to her in person. Maybe better that way. She takes away the stopwatch. For okay. uh, yeah, so anything else you want to do? No. Let's get, I'll join up and continue having drinks with everyone else. All right. Um, Lena. When you were in your dream state, you got a little bit of information about who you were before, and you've checked in with uh, Rolodex Lena, uh, Lena Google, Lena Pedia. <laughs> that's what it was, <laughs> about a few things. Um, but as you're af after you acquire the dream flake, flake from Armand, um, you look over at the door and you see some what looked to be freshly arrived travelers that you recognize. Um, you see a copper dragonborn with a loot on his back. And standing next to him is a somewhat familiar rainbow-feathered snake-like creature named Snowpea. <laughs> 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 they haven't noticed you yet. What's well, copper, right? Huh? Okay. I'm gonna turn okay. around, look at Valgan, and be like, hey, um, can you be my Bahamut wingman <laughs> for a minute? <laughs> uh, I haven't had game in a thousand years, and um, the person who I left behind is right over there. Um, 
Yeah, and then I start to unscrew the motor oil like thing that Tolan gave me. Like, so I know that Orca Shale didn't do shit, but I'm hoping this might. And I like just take probably like the neck of that bottle. It's not the whole thing. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, yeah. As soon as you take that sip, it starts to like. Uh, First of all, it gives you kind of a lubrication feeling. So you feel loosened up. You feel yeah. like, yeah, you don't hear as much squeaking, like from moving around and stuff like that. And then it starts to get a little deeper. And then you start to feel a little warm. Then you start to see a little, it gets a little, things get a little foggy. And you feel the slightest off balance. Nothing crazy, but you definitely feel um, what you would describe as drunk if you were to describe what drunk was. That kind of fits the description. <laughs> Quickly above table. Um, what would happen if I finished drinking this whole thing? Would you consider um, Lena to be like smashed drunk? Or Pretty like smashed. could she handle whatever it is? Pretty smashed. <laughs> Good. Because this is not a poison, right? <laughs> this is a this is a specific concoction for your body type to make you feel this way. Awesome. <clears throat> Okay. And Tolan gave you enough for the night. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling loosey goosey. So I'm like, yeah, Velvet can help help I, a, I would like help to a war forged out. Sure. See if I can clock this particular situation that I'm observing. Lance is pretty good. Plus five. All right. Well, that's the ten. So. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you you pick up that. You notice that they drank something, you, and you don't really see the effects yet. Well, I'm, I'm mostly trying to clock between, like, uh, uh, Lena and... Oh, 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 I see. ...the creature, like, oh, am, yeah, I, yeah. am I aware of what I'm seeing? No, you don't pick that up. Okay. Hey, well, she did say wingman. Yeah, but you don't know... Uh, <laughs> You're not picking up anything else besides what she's told you. That's okay. What, is, is, that, that's what would be the point of an insight check, is to try to gather more information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Yeah. So in response to this and the nervousness coming out of our robot best friend, <laughs> in response to it, I'm just like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, um, come on, sort of. Come on, come on. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> Excitement! <laughs> Don't get everyone down here for this. I swear to Bahamut. <laughs> no, literally, I will join your paladin order <laughs> if you just let this slide. And as she says that, you notice the slightest bit of slur in the way she says that. And it's more intense than your use from Lena. <laughs> we can turn this into a musical. I can sing. <laughs> there you see her. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wandering over the bar in the trail. <laughs> so we. Wanda's <laughs> so the... like, sorry, I. Sorry. <laughs> so we cut through the crowd. See the salon. Yeah. And um, Lena kind of throws her arms open and just shouts, Bumpy! From and Bumpy's across like, the bar. hey! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, it's been too long, friendo, come here. And I'm like, asking for a hug. Uh, Bumpy comes over, like, you would not believe. <laughs> what I've been through, bro. <laughs> Story time. And, like, I just kind of look over at Snow Pea for a second, wink, and then immediately look away. <laughs> Not even going to register an answer. Just that I acknowledge them being there and probably how pissed they are at me. Snow Pea comes over. Um, actually, you hear in your head. It's not how you think. It's fine. Come here. <laughs> one, one moment. Valgan, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't need you after all. You can you can go party, we're cool. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Valgan, goodbye! You... <laughs> Hello, I'm Valgan, goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> 
it's like, it's like, actually, I don't need you. I'm totally fine. You can fuck off. Hello, I'm Melvin. So as you watch, uh, as you watch Lena, like I'm observing the yeah, situation, you like watch that. Lena like run over to this uh, Coatl who's like standing and like kind of like, imposing yeah. in this in this crowd, a very unusual. Pretty magical creature to be yeah. just showing up in the middle of overdrive, um, and uh, while Lena gave uppies to Tolan earlier, uh, you now watch as this koala gives uppies to Lena <laughs> and just gives them a big hug and uh, puts them back down and kind of leans over and, be, and they start engaging in conversation. Um, before that conversation, B- uh, Bumpy turns to you like, "Hey, I'm Bumpy." Bumpy. It's great to meet you. You guys, uh, seems like you did some good. We try to. Works out sometimes. I love this so much. <laughs> <laughs> All your characters come You guys, uh, <laughs> you've seen some shit. So have I. You want a drink? Sure. And so you guys yeah. will go over to the bar. Uh, back over to this, uh, <laughs> Snow Piece, like, I have missed you. I know it's been a bit of a really weird set of events in the last uh, thousand years for you? Yeah. Um, long, long story. Uh, short version, I lost memories, had a whole new life happen as a result. Um, unfortunately, lost some good people who were good to me and found some other good people who are good to me now. And... At one point, um, my colleagues in the uh, Jupiter Elite became my friends and family, and we've been on so many cool adventures. I wished you were there, most of them. I have so many stories to tell you, too. By the way, as as you're remembering some more about Snow Pea, checking in with Leanopedia about memories over the time that you remembered that Snow Pea even existed. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing you remember is that Snow Pea does not use their mouth to speak. So you hear everything that they say in their head telep- telepathically. Um, so they're communicating to you. Um, I've been to like eight different dimensions, bro. Like, there was this one it was crazy. There was like I don't know, like these chariots, but they didn't have horses. <laughs> and like people were playing the loudest instruments you've ever heard. Fucking nuts. Born at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, well, yeah, I guess uh, I guess lineage wise, she would have Snow would have come back first after that. I'm like, of course you knew about that, but there's been other ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. Context. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um but yeah, so I guess they and I just constantly just jabber back and forth Catching telepathically up. and not, you know, just in our own world after so, so long. I can imagine Katika seeing a glimpse of Lena and Snow Peach just like staring at each other like lovingly in the eyes and like, oh, it's a oh. cute moment. <laughs> I mean, my arm's like, like probably leaning next to you, looking at it like, how does that even work? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a snake and it flies with wings and <laughs> robots. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's adorable. But how? <laughs> I just want to know. I kind of want to watch. You want to turn invisible? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Arma, Scientific not- interest only. Scientific. Yeah, it's just for research. <laughs> Above table, very disappointed. <laughs> for scientific reasons. <laughs> oh, for scientific reasons. Let's do this. I have a thing so, yeah. that I'd like. But I do pass you a joint while we're watching. <laughs> yeah, no a moment. We sure. almost died, sure. So yeah, Duke, while that's all happening, what are you? what's going on with the uh, staring down the crystal? Staring down the crystal. So I walk up and I... Uh, um, I kind of contemplate these weird pictures that are like precognitive photos, mm-hmm. right? I kind of look at them for a little bit. I shoot and I speculate. Fascinating. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> put them away. Put them in the haversack. Go, okay. I put the haversack on my back. I walk over to the new onyx. 
Okay. Who's got the bag of holding, by the way? Ro does. Ro does. Okay, double checking. Yeah. Um, I put my hand on it. Um, well, and I just kind of try to feel whatever's going on in there. As you kind of take some focus on, on the onyx, you stare into it, and you see that familiar small demiplane that you would experience the inside of. But instead of vastness, it's small and contained. And the onyx stands screaming at the sky in anger. And Duke, for a moment, uh, feels a brief blip of pity. Um, and he walks out of the room, walks down the stairs, and uh, give you guys the opportunity to, to interact with him. But barring that, he's going to walk to the shack. Um, so if you're still guarding the door or not, or whatever, I know you went off with them, but he will... I'm keeping it, like, in my peripheral. Right, so... Also have a drink waiting for you. Oh, mm-hmm. at the base of the stairs? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. The orcish ale in the cup. Uh, so seeing the orcish ale at the cup, he'll kind of... <sighs> grab it, slam it back. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. With advantage, because I've drank this like eight times now. <laughs> no? Yeah, but you know what? I'm near that door. <laughs> oh, he's, he's near that door, so I think this is plus three. All right. I think it's plus five now, isn't it? Is it plus five? Or? Uh, no, because I, I have levels on sorcery. Oh, right, right, right. Jesus. Ten. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Twelve. Twelve? You're good. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, you and I do not have good luck with that. Anymore. I do, like, so, yeah, because I'm supposed to have proficiency in constitution saving throws, I'm pretty sure. I don't. What's oh, your, wait, hold What's on. your first class? No, that's a three, 16. 16. Yeah. yeah you're much better. Yeah. <laughs> Super Sorry. good. Uh, so, um... Uh, I'm going to try and stealth out of here. Okay. Do I roll this with disadvantage? Presently, no, because there's so much commotion going on. You're just trying to be imperceivable. Inc- 17. You're good. Yeah, so you managed so. to, like, weave You're your way probably out. actively looking for me, so you would probably get an active perception roll. Nope. And a clock. Um... Actually, on my way down, I would actually probably, for you, I would probably be like, hey, if you want to, you can come with me. But it's not going to be fun. Bumpy's going to be like, hey, man, it was great talking to you. We'll catch up more later, all right? Absolutely. Who says that? Bumpy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And then I'm going to leave and I'm going to go to the shack. Okay. So if you want to, you can come to the shack with me. Um... So before we do the shack, is there anything yeah. anyone else wants to do? And then we'll do the shack thing. Um, I know that at least, I don't want to leave this scene because the party's good, but um, I know at least I want to talk to some of the people, try to find out lineages and last names, because my ultimate goal is to connect some of these people who have just come back after a thousand years with some of my peeps down in the Fellwind in the Catacomb Village, because there's some ghosts, there's some ghouls. Uh, we've got like Priscilla the Whaler, Henry the Formigas. I'm going to reunite some families. Like, there's some people who didn't get closure, and they're going to get there. <laughs> so you start just taking names, yeah. mostly. I'm okay. just going to throw, like, oh, yeah, I know a person. Yeah, got one of your relatives. Not really here anymore, mind you. A little ethereal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you, so you start building a list of names and stuff like that to kind of help with that part of things. Um, Armand the matchmaker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when can we sleep? We'll get there. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> Once we're done with all the things. Okay. Are you sure we are walking around like bloody uh -huh. bruised? Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking around jacked up. Yeah. That, yeah. You are exploded, sir. If I, I got exploded. If I learned anything about Baldur's Gate, you just got to throw a little bit of water file on you and you're clean. You're clean. <laughs> yep, you all, all the blood goes away. You're good. Yep. yep just a sponge. <laughs> Get your sponges out. Uh, so, um, uh, did you want to do anything? No, I'm good. You're good? Okay. Uh, so, you guys start working your way to the shack. Yeah. Uh, down some familiar halls, uh, through some, some familiar streets and alleyways. Have you been to the shack before? It's your first time. So, yeah, you guys are heading that way if there's anything you want to say on the way. I, unless you talk to me, Duke is silent as a rock. I'm just there to support, so. Okay. So you come to a, a modest, clean, and well-maintained shack. Probably one of the more well-maintained shacks in this part of the Grey District. I do have one last use of Divine Sense I'd like to use in front of the shack. <laughs> okay. Uh, remind me again of all the things on that list. Uh, it is. Hold on. I will pull it up. Infernal. It is Celestial Fiends and Undead. Energies. Celestial Fiend and Undead. Nothing of that particular okay. categories of stuff. Um, well, God of Magic would be Celestial, wouldn't it? Yeah. Depends on the type, though. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true, yeah. Because, like, what, what Dark turn... Goddesses are not objectively Celestial. She would not yeah. be Celestial. Yeah. Um, but as you enter the, sh the shack, which does have a fire going, you see a Shadar Kai female sitting there. No altar. And she says, It's good of you to come. I was wondering if it would be sooner or later. Who have you brought this time? Uh, that was a very strange noise you just made. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit weird. Uh, sometimes you gotta make a weird so noise. It's a new language you've learned? <laughs> I learned it from, from my friend Lena. Beep bop. That's what she sounds like um, when she talks in her sleep. <laughs> it's uh, just snoring my sound. This is my friend Balgan. He, uh, he just came for moral support. I didn't actually expect you to be here. Um, I didn't expect myself to be here, to be honest. Is this Alondra? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Uh, this might sound weird, but uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, if I could have a moment, I'd appreciate it. You're saying you saying you want a moment with Alondra? No, I want a moment alone. Oh, in just the in the shack. shack. And Alondra's like, oh, oh, yes, yes, of course, and she leaves. But. If you could reassure me that uh, if what I say here, will she hear it? Of all the places within Windfall, this is the most connected to the Shadowfell. That's what Though she has keeping an eye on you, even in your exile, it's most likely she'll hear you here. That's what I figure. I'll be outside. Uh, Want me to step back? Yeah. Um, uh, once they step out, I'm going to take the haversack off. I'm going to set it down. Okay. I'm going to take Talons of Thought. I'm going to stab it into the ground. Okay. Uh, I'm going to approach. You said there's not a, an altar. It's not supposedly an altar. Uh, then, um, then I'll approach the fire. Um, and I will just tell the fire, uh, at the top of my lungs, um, uh, I don't want to actually scream. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, Interpretive but, uh, is fine. But uh, but like it's as loud as Duke can muster, right? Um, I did not abandon you, right? You abandoned me. Uh, I am no betrayer to you. Right? You left me. Right, you went to leave me in the shadow fell after you said I didn't do my duty. When you gave me no guidance and left me to die. You betrayed me and what I stood for. 
I am no betrayer. You can strip me of my title. You can kick me out and call me an outcast. I know who I am. I will not waver from my duty. You can say what you want, but you cannot stop me from doing what I know to be right. Me, the highest of the Court of the Forgotten, have not forgotten my purpose simply because I found a new family. I am no betrayer. I gather my stuff. I pull talons of thought out of the ground. I walk out of the shack. Alondra. I add one last thing. This was the important part. One more thing. (laughs) This was the important part, right? Um, I am no betrayer. That I have not forgotten. Epic. Um... You walk out, and there's Falcon and Alondra. And another figure walks up. Tameen. Tameen looks at you somewhat sarcastically. Did you uh, say what you needed to? Yeah. You finally know the truth. She doesn't care about us. I won't be going back. Appears you won't be either. Duty doesn't stop being duty. Because somebody told you it wasn't a good idea anymore. Something tells me we can do some more good. Three of vindictive people that think that they have our best interests at heart when really they just want to mold us in their image. Raven Queen, worst among them. Did you believe in what you were doing when you did it? Of course. I was... I was the top lieutenant in the court of memory. The Duchess. Right. Giving up that position for the reasons I did was the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but the most liberating as well. And though it led me being trapped in a stone for a thousand years. It happens. Could be worse. I could still be one of the Raven Queen's pawns and her never-ending quest to acquire more and acquire more. Alondra looks concerned, but she says, I don't want to go back, but I don't know what else I would do. At least to means here to give you some support. I, if I go back, I guess I will not be seeing you much. We've been friends for a very long time. May I interject something? Two things. One, for Laundra, if she's wavering on a choice, she is currently having her courage bolstered by my presence. Okay. Secondly, how much do I know about what it is that you actually do? Um, I'd say for anybody, you probably know the least because you. Yeah, that's that's kind of my point. But probably still some. Yeah. Right. Like, so like the stuff that you have seen me do is steal, steal people's memories. Mm-hmm. Right. You know that. I guess it would depend on what Valgan has asked Duke. I think I we we had a conversation about it when you destroyed the memories of. Yeah. The tour. Yeah. So. Um, so you probably have an idea. Mm-hmm. You have some idea. Yeah, I was about to say, 
very little idea because no one remembers that happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, you remember that it happened. You right. just don't remember who Tor is. Yes. Right. Um, with that in mind, and I see someone else possibly breaking free of this bad, break, possibly on the verge of breaking free of this cycle that they're in, I look at Alondra and I'm like, removing context from the world only guarantees that we'll make the same mistakes again. Demean looks at her and says, can't believe I'm agreeing with someone of Bahamut, but he's kind of got a point. No, they can't hear you. Oh. Get closer to your microphone. Yeah, I, I already did that. Yeah. <laughs> Lean in. He leans back. There you go. There you go. Hopefully, um, while they're changing faith, you've got uh, pamphlets for Bahamut, by the way. <laughs> 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 but, uh, But Alondra looks to you, Duke. <sighs> what do you think I should do? Your job. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Man, yeah. <laughs> uh, the duty. <laughs> um, I mean, you're of the Court of Secrets, right? And so, your job is to make sure that all of those things stay safe, right? What happens if you stop doing that? Presumably, someone would take my place, but probably someone more incompetent. She threw me out simply because I said I needed to go back. And she said, you would betray me. Right? When there was no betrayal, it did She's not exist. very black and white. I mean... Both literally and figuratively, she has no color to her palette. It's no, just that's very true. Black very, and white. Yeah, hundred percent. But the uh, eye, the eye was just a brighter shade of white. Yeah, on like a white. Screen. It's it very, very yeah, lots of shadow and it gray. Was very it's the stark. whole the whole thing. So to the Raven Queen, any slight is the same intensity to her. This makes it very hard to follow because there's no talking back. Apparently, I failed at the task that I was given. Apparently. Which was to kill the Onyx. Precisely. I'm a member of the Forgotten Court. So I defeated the Onyx because I did not remember that my order was to kill it. it does get complicated with that. So whose fault is that? Because she had all of my memories. So she knew what they were. So did she make me fail on purpose? Make a persuasion check in this moment, with advantage. Do I add a persuasion? No, just saves. <laughs> uh, that's 15. 15? She looks at you and like, kind of looks down to the ground. starts connecting dots in her mind. Oh. You... You were the easiest scapegoat. Because you wouldn't have remembered. And you wouldn't be able to question her. I don't know what that means, but I... But I think you're right. I think she has betrayed you. Why would you know what your job is if you trade in memory? Unless there is a larger scale, there is some sort of, I don't know, maybe there is a deal with Orcus of some kind, I don't know some sort of cosmic balance that needs to be maintained. As you're all having this conversation, a little wisp of shadow grows, 
forms into a humanoid, and out of it steps another female Shadarkai. <sighs> now what are you doing, Delthavos? You're convincing everyone to quit? Alondra, you're expected. Enough playing around as you see Tesh in front of you. Am, am I convincing people to quit? Is that what I'm doing? Alondra, your time is up. It's time to go. To mean, you are commanded to return, but under no ob- obligation. Presently. Right. Alondra, come. And she starts walking, and Alondra doesn't move. She pauses, and Tesh stops and turns. Is this really your choice? Alondra, I, I, I don't think I can serve knowing what I know. Tesh is like, well, I leave that between you and the Raven Queen then. Good luck. And she walks away in shadow. Tamin comes and kind of like puts her hand on Alondra's shoulder, sort of sideways. Uh, If it helps, she had a very similar conversation with me and was much less nice about it. I don't know if that's good or not, but it is what it is. Uh, Welcome to the Club of the Exiled, Shadokai. Should we have a club? To me, it's kind of like trying to put some levity in. I mean, the band of the exiled sounds pretty fucking sweet. Alondra's kind of like a little bit in shock at this moment of like how easily she made that choice, or at least how quickly she made that choice. And she kind of turns to you both and you, Velkin. I guess I'm no longer a member of the court. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with myself. I, Question. Do either of you know any chronomancers? They both look at each other like, no. Because apparently I drew this, and I pull out the one that was me standing in front of the stones. Mm-hmm. Ages ago. But it happened less than an hour ago. That is curious, and I have no idea why that would be. Definitely worth the investigation, though. There are numerous pictures like this that happened less than a week ago that I painted ages ago. Here's a fun question for you, dude. Are there any pictures in there that you don't recognize as having happened yet? It doesn't recognize most of them. Sure. <laughs> Armand did take a few courses, like maybe Chronomancy 101, but yeah. did specialize in enchantment. Also so as uh, the Wikipedia. <laughs> and two, that was my next move. Your question for Maria. What do you want to do? That was my next move. I just have to. As a uh, Alondra Tamin and Del Thavos, no longer Duke, wrestle with their Tamin's continued exile, but. Delphavos in Alondra's fresh exile. Uh, we're gonna take a break. Yeah. Come back in a minute. Uh, yeah, short ten minute break to refresh, do a year little urination, and uh, get a beverage. So do that. We'll be back. <laughs> hey. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Above Table. I am your dungeon master, Sky. Hello. Hi. Hello, Sky. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so we've been uh, re- the Sunless Sky have been regathering and uh, having a little bit of a celebration after managing to free all of the encaptured uh, residents, former residents of Windfall from a thousand years ago, uh, reintegrating them into the current landscape of Windfall. Also reuni- uh, reuniting with a few old friends, um, a few new friends, and. Uh, Specifically, Duke, figuring out what's what's next for Duke. Formerly Duke, now only Delphavos. Um, yeah. Taking Tamin's path, and not Alondra's path, 
also managed to convince Alondra to, in a rash moment of confusion and anger at the Raven Queen, also follow a chosen path of exile by defying the Raven Queen's wishes. Back at the party, as Armand is scouring the, <laughs> scouring the uh, quite packed and like tss, 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 tss. there's people up on the if you remember there's platforms that swing around along with the pipe there's people up there dancing and uh, quite a few uh, dances have broken out a bunch of bards have taken the stage and there's a full on celebration going on um, Armand you're carrying a few drinks sure. one for yourself and one for some lucky lady? Yes, indeed. <laughs> or man, I don't know if you're... <laughs> you care? You never know where the night goes. <laughs> <laughs> As you start walking around just saying, like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, right, I'm on month, yeah. Um, you look towards the... Um, <laughs> that's my... I'm pretty, I got a pretty good arm on. Um, <laughs> it was like looking into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you look towards the entrance. Right. And... You know, with kind of a wall of people back to the entrance, kind of dancing, you see by themselves a little dirt on their face, uh, heavy breathing, furrowed, concerned look. Um, Liza, your sister. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'm going to first look around and see if this is a trap. Uh, you know. Make a perception check. That's actually pretty good. Uh, 16. 16? Nothing you can see. She is in nicer clothes, a little worn. She looks a little tired, like she's been running. I just go over, nod to her a little bit, and uh, point that I could sit and join her. The second she sees you in her peripheral, she runs up and gives you a giant hug. Oh. She's like, Baraza! I'm so sorry. I I chose poorly. I oh. I chose our enemy and I didn't even know it. I, can you even forgive me for betraying you? Oh, I forgave you 10 seconds after you already made the decision. I'm like, I was reading the letter and I'm like, I would have done that too. Uh, I know you've worked with Smelasaur before. I guess that makes it easier to understand what, what the appeal is. He told me all the things I wanted to hear about reclaiming our throne, avenging our family. Mm -hmm. He taught me many things, many powers, and I'm so sorry. Uh, there is nothing to apologize about because, yes, uh, the power is, is alluring, but at the same time, you have to look through the veil, his conversations, because there are things that he wants. There are things, his objectives, his goals, and, and that is where things get murky. When you see the world that he wanted to create, would you want to rule in a place of undead mutant hyenas? No, I don't. I was starting to see it because... I said he was rebuilding the Silent Enclave. Yes. And he was... Brother, he was sacrificing us for some purpose coming up, and I, he wouldn't say what, but he said it was important, and I, I felt I was next, even though he assured me I was not. I ran. I ran so far away. <laughs> did you, did you <laughs> and I actually have the haircut for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> It's thematic appropriate. Uh. Mm, yes. Uh, all right. Well, first off, are you safe? And have I, you I, eaten recently? I have not eaten anything. Um, I have which friends. might be a bit of a problem. I'm sorry to show my true form in this, but nobody seems to be freaking out right now, so that's good. I have a few allies here that uh, could help us out. I look for Katinka. <laughs> she, <laughs> she will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could I could at? use a little something. Um, Mindling. Uh, Katinka, darling. 
Uh, I definitely need a little bit of help. Could you please come to the dark alcove, near, just to the left of the front door? Look, <laughs> it takes like dark. Cr- Armand, can I? I can't speak back. Uh, can you? Can uh, I, yeah. Oh yeah. Mike. No, you can. This is this message. You can respond. We can respond. Yes, yeah, the message. Well, it's, not, it's the message cantrip, so I don't know if it works. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just the, the, another... the range is what's the super limit. That's right. Because I know that, like, feet. I know that Amy, who's watching hers, is much more stronger. So we'll give her <laughs> props for that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll come by. Is it who is? What's this about? Who's it for? Are you wanting to bite me again? Well, not <laughs> me, but my sister really is famished, and she has some great information about Melisol. Okay. Or is it Mel- Melithor. Melithor. So, All right, I'm on my own. Yeah, by the way, Melisol is, is in the... <laughs> is dancing. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> We're a thousand-year-old old man. <laughs> We're gonna oh, fuck up my name! This is amazing! <laughs> We're gonna fuck up my grandson. <laughs> We're gonna fuck up my grandson. <laughs> I'm gonna spank the shit out of him. That's so good. So I invite you to a lifetime coming up. Uh, Katinka, uh, this is my sister, Elise. She's the one that just you know, had a runaway, went to go and uh, st- t- study under Melithor, just much like I did. I mean, it runs in the family. And she's just come back. She has some great information, but she's a little bit famished. And so if you don't mind, can you perhaps offer a little bit, just a smidgen of your blood so that uh, she could at least uh, be able to communicate with us more clearly? Is Lena or Valgan nearby? Not that you see right now. But this, it's a packed place. It's a packed nothing. place. Yeah, you see, okay. uh, you see Lena like uh, hanging out with a Coatl, like shooting the uh, shit. That's right. Uh, <laughs> looks kind of drunk. Okay, I'm like, wow. So, and, and by the way, sister, this is Katinka. She's a bestie as well. We've been traveling all over, fighting things. Uh, she has flames that come out of her tits. It's really cool. And her blood, <laughs> because she is has true magic coursing through it, is quite divine. Um, this is a, a friend of yours? A best friend, yes. Uh, are you okay with I uh, take a little nibbles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, do you say take a little nibble or take all your nipples? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you heard that too? I, uh, That's what sister, her, her power comes from her no. nipples. <laughs> Tickle your nipples. <laughs> so good. We can't so have a fireball good. slip out all of a sudden. You too. <laughs> Naughty. I love the idea that she goes to like drink idea that you're just like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just, it just comes out sometimes. I'm sorry. Oh my God. But, but you're, you're okay with this? Yeah, here you go. What is it, what, what oh, the okay. Is it she yeah. like she grabs your like your arm and starts to go in for it, Ignating? and she turns to Armand like. And I, and I, I t- cover. T- turn around. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I also cover a little bit, so make make it you know. So I basically make sure no one can watch. Yeah. Um, make a. How about a persuasion check to kind of everybody around or stealth your choice. Okay, I'm good at those. Uh, I think it's really action. Fireball. Uh, that is a. <laughs> that is a twenty-two. As uh, basically, I, I nudge the person to me to make a toast, which is like, you know, so that, that so you know they go wandering off like yeah. ding ding ding, like like yes, uh, that was a great time to propose to your fiance. Just hit this little Bless little you. glass and um, <laughs> Stephanie, we were locked in a stone for a thousand years, and I've never been so sure of anything in my life. <laughs> uh, so you take 46 of <laughs> oh, of uh, bite damage. 46? Yeah. That's what she's, she's a full hungry. vampire. 46? 4d6. Okay, I like, So I'm, I already rolled it. It's oh. real bad. <laughs> okay. It's 6665. Six, six, I was going to Nope, I rolled it because she's doing it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you take 24 points, 23 points of. Bite damage. Oh. My sister's into pain. I'm just saying. Oh. Um, but she watches the color Jesus. comes back to her. She's lot. like, "Oh my gosh, I needed that so much. Thank you so much. You, well, you are uh-huh. hot. I, I mean, your blood is hot. Uh huh. She's like woozy a little bit. Hot blood. Twenty-five. Hot blooded. 
Uh, Hundred degrees. You get back thirty-two hit points as I like. Oh, here, let me. Oh let my me. gosh, Katika's just like a weird the, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let me kiss it better. There you go. Rub it in. Rub it in. Do I get a band aid? Rub it in. Rub it in. Um, all right, now that you are feeling better, oh, like yes. I said, as she like wipes blood from her mouth. Everything that you could say to me, you could trust with her as well. Uh, she has saved my bacon. I mean, I've just sucked her blood. I hope so. We have some trust. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, well, um, so yes. Um, I don't know exactly what Smelasaur is planning, but he's well. I mean, for himself, why he sacrificed so many of the enclave. I think he is trying to enrich himself as he heads in with some sort of powers for himself. I, I don't know exactly what this a couple is a book he has held very close to him and he has not let me read and it um, is bound in human skin I see now before I begin letting you know everything here there are some precautions I need to take for us because I've been in your shoes before I was once a sleeper agent and so I'll need to peer into your mind I'll need to make sure that you don't have any rings with an eyeball looking at us I've seen it it's really creepy so if you do not mind, detect magic. Yeah, so you, you hit detect magic. You don't see anything on her as far as like... Listening um, devices. And <laughs> listening devices. However, you do notice that there is a fairly strong magical source coming from a pendant around her neck. I see. I do not recognize uh, this uh, this pendant here. Uh, was why don't you, I don't As know. you look at it closer, you do recognize it. Okay, now I do. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is... Uh, it is on the, it is a small uh, glass vial. Um, looks like there's some dried blood at the bottom of it. At the top of it is an apparatus that's got a fairly sharp needle attached to it with a little bit of a drainage system that goes into the vial attached to the top. It's hanging from a chain, and um, in a very small little spot, it's got your family crest. Oh, okay. Is this your family blood? This is great, great, great grandfather's blood. <laughs> 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 Uh, as she sees you looking at the pen, and she's like, oh, yeah, yes, um, Metal- Metalthor seems to have been able to get our father's pendant. I was going to say, I thought that was taken by the drow. It was, but, uh, well, he sold it. And so through the black market, we were able to reacquire it, seems, seems to, be, to be. I, I'm assuming. I don't know if maybe he's in with... I don't know what to trust anymore. Maybe Metalthor is working with the drow, too. Could be very well. Now, we have made sure there's no listening devices. Now I need to just make sure that, uh, uh, and this isn't 100%, but I need to make sure that you are not a sleeper agent now. So I from agree. arcane knowledge, what I, and I've been through this, um, what are spells, zone of truce? I mean, there's, um, I'm just trying to think of things I wake to, to try to find out if, you know, there's... What, 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 what I would say is, uh, based on your enchantment nature, um, if you wanted to use hypno- hypnotic gaze sure. to kind of like create a connection, um, you'd be able to peer and see. All right, and I, I'm looking for like the, the fake memories that he planted in me, mm-hmm. and like it's like, oh wait a minute, that's a glitch in the matrix. There's right. two black cats in a row, yeah, so right. things like that. Okay, so I'll just tell her, you know, accept the gaze and do not resist. It's just She's like, <laughs> you used to do this when we were younger to get my dog. <laughs> it was fun. Okay. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, roll a. Um... <laughs> Actually, it's usually it's a saving throw, but. Uh... Well, she's gonna just let you do it. Okay, then. Yeah, it's... but what, what what I'm gonna ask you to roll for is investigating her mind for those sleep region. I'm elements. even better at that. Um, so I'll say an Arcana check to to sort of parse together to see if there's any magical influences. Uh, twenty one. Twenty one. You now are seeing like like the little hypnotic rays. My eyes look like the spinning, rotating like hypnotic, you know, plate. <laughs> Yeah, so you see Liza, you see Liza is just kind of like, stop, lean back. And then as you sort of dissect stuff, you, you don't get to read her mind, but you do get a few impressions of what she's been through, and there's a lot of, like, really stark and shocking feelings that she kind of has at the surface of her sure. mind. Um, but as you look for those sort of telltale earmarks of um, what would be a sort of separate mind that you would have to engage with. Okay. 
um, that would be a created memory that's not that's separate from hers. You don't see anything. Right. It seems that she is free of mental she influence or she, plant planted uh, information. She is good. She is not a spy. She was able to escape Melithor before he was able to do this. Or it sounds like he has been sacrificing his disciples to gain more power. So now, yes, it is free to get her caught up. So. Okay. Yes. Allow me to tell you that we have over there that old man who's doing the keg stand. That is his grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I really hey, keep it going. I really wish he was Grumble wearing. Grumble Brewer's the best. <laughs> I wish he was wearing pants instead of a robe, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, that is his grandfather, and he is heavily involved with uh, the Black Onyx, which was this kind of prison, but we now turned it into an energy source. All these people wearing uh, fashions and, you know, from a thousand years ago, they were trapped in there with them. There's the two queens, yes. Um, that's a courtly dance, I, that's all they know. Um, but yes, uh, they're back. So uh, what we have been doing has been gaining allies, been growing our strengths for that conflict that you're aware of, uh, but we do have the energy source. We do have the gems. Um, so, um, so you're, it seems you're ready for this fight. I don't oh, think. Oh no, not at all. You see, we need to know what you know. Well. Oh no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucked. We're gonna die. It's, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. Um, she's like, well, I, I do know some things. I, I've seen some troop positions and well, some of the initial plans. Um, if some of that information is be really helpful, I, I, I can, I can draw some things up and give them to the military leaders you have here. That I don't, I don't know more than, more than just that. He's kept us at arm's length, other than inviting us to special dinners, which we don't come back from. But you perhaps might know like what spells that you were because like he was going to perhaps um, yeah. use some of you as spellcasters. So let's just say either fireballs or controlling. Undead. Oh yes, yes, yes. I am in the Evoker school. Um, he's taught me. Um, he's taught me a very many great things. Since she does produce flame, she's got like a little flame in her hand. Oh, lovely. Um, and she's like, I don't want to show you anything else because it. Um, we're both vampires. She just flames. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't want to show you anything else because it's, a lot of them is quite destructive. There's this one spell, it's very cool. It comes out of my belly button, though. And uh, it goes very boom, lots of fire. Um, maybe you've seen something well, like it. the two of you together, it seems like. You hear that? Oh, you do the fireball also? She talks to you, Katinka. She does fireballs, but it comes out of her belly, her piercing of her belly button. Oh, is that what she did? Yeah, I shoot oh, no, fireball. No, no, she did. What she oh, can she do. Is? Okay. I shoot fireball out of my navel. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's an orifice. Come on. I'm here for you, gatekeepers. That's, <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> the place that fireballs are supposed to come out of is your titties. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. I don't know why it would come out of your belly button. It's supposed well, to come out of your belly I mean, yeah, I don't seem not in control of where it comes out. I mean, it's better than some other locations, I guess. I don't really know what that'd be like. Oh. Um, but uh, <laughs> but yes, I could be helpful in that way of on the battlefield, or, or you could send me. A, I'm very apt, and I mean, I'm older now. I'm very yes. apt at what if you need me to go oh, someplace yeah. specific. No, you're you're now gonna travel with us. It's fine. You're gonna help join the battle. It'll be wonderful. Very well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yes, it's. I, I am surprised. I, I am so thankful that you've been so forgiving, and I I imagined after that very hurtful letter I sent you, you'd be very upset with me. You're a Forever hormonal teenager st st stuck in this body for a hundred years. You're going to have your your ups and your downs. I mean, it was much worse than when you uh, put 100 bats into my coffin and they all came out at once. That was funny as fuck. No, it wasn't. Because <laughs> they shat everywhere. Guano all over my favorite pillow. I had to throw away my pillow. <laughs> Still funny. But yes, uh, we're family, so that is always first. Uh, and I and the thing is, is that I've been in your shoes. I've I've had to uh, go through this, ask for her forgiveness. I had to join a faith. It was really cool, actually. Was, I show her the macaroni, um, uh, holy <laughs> symbol of uh, Bahamut. Uh, How does that start burning your skin? It's weird. It isn't. I think that the, I think it is a monster god. But he, you know, I'm working things. I out guess you're now. not full blood, so that's maybe a little better that way. Hey. Well, um, <laughs> but I. I don't feel right keeping our father's pendant. I, I think as the eldest, you 
you should have this. Oh. Um, Father Neville approved of me, but I don't mind wearing his things. He's dead now. We are creating as a new family. We, we will reclaim our lands, mm-hmm. but we will do it on our own, our own way, and you shall be the leader. You deserve it. Oh. I, am, I am not right for this position. Well, you know, we'll, 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 let's at least survive the next three days, and then we can discuss it. I've got some really powerful friends that will hopefully help me out with some of those dark elves. <laughs> Um, I would like for you to add Crimson Amplifier to your inventory. Crimson Amplifier. What is it? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then, and ultimately, we just wind down the, the, the night, thank Katinka a million times over, and then uh, uh, I tell uh, the girl I was hooking up, Felicia, I said, bye, Felicia. I'm like, Not so much. <laughs> Why are you going? Uh, I, my sister is here. I got to look after her. Uh, um, here, uh, Harold over there. He's he's free. Hi, Harold. She wanders off. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> and Harold's, Harold's like, <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't had sex in a thousand years. Go for it. <laughs> uh, Wana, Wana is like sweating behind the bar. He's got some extra guys, and like things are starting to wind down. He's like, oh, my god, this hasn't been this busy in forever. Uh, um, as things start to wind down and, and people start to head head off into their, their corners, um, Harold Blackbone comes up as you guys kind of regather. Um, how drunk are you right now? Haven't Have you had, had any more. Haven't had any more? You've just been shooting Don't the shit with, with Snoopy? I'm on cloud now with Snoopy. Um, <laughs> and uh, you guys, do you guys come back to... Uh, I know I would head back eventually. Yeah, we would. Yeah, after that, like I, we would head back. So if there, if the two, if the two of them are like with us now, it's like, well, hey, uh, we should probably head back. I, I just needed to clear my head, and I needed to get that off my chest. So Valgan, if you're good to head back, I think now at this point, I'm good to head back. Um, Alondra kind of says, "Are your friends going to be receptive of me?" If they're not, I'll uh, I'll have a talk with them. So they should be good. I mean, they're good with me, so yeah. Well, that is saying something. Right. All right. So yeah, the four of you uh, start making your way to uh, back to overdrive. I mean, the one that you have to probably worry the most about is this guy, and he seems pretty good with you. So I have no ill intent towards anyone. Falcon, you have my word. Um. So yeah, as party starts to die down after a few hours, you guys reconvene. Um, you find yourselves at a at a table along with Snoopy. Bumpy joins you after a minute, um, as well as Bumpy. Lisa. <laughs> yeah, Bumpy's like, yeah! <laughs> um, Bumpy says to Katinka, like, "Wow, you're awesome. Who are you?" I'm Katinka. Katinka, I'm Bumpy. Hi. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go join the band on stage real quick. I'm gonna do like a little solo thing. Hold up. And he uh, jumps up on stage and just like starts playing the wickedest lute solo you've ever heard. Um, Duke looks at Falcon and I'm like, hey, who's that guy? You've never heard of the famous Bumpy? Seriously. Uh, oh, I'll tell you about it. Hey man, I've oh, heard of a lot. Time. I have heard of a lot of guys, so. <laughs> Um, as you say that, Snoopy's dad. As you say that, as you say that out loud, this this like magic oozing um, s- f- rainbow snake daddy uh, <laughs> turns towards you, and in your mind you hear an, an intense telepathic voice say, "Bumpy is the greatest bard that has ever lived, and you will witness now the gloriousness of Bumpy." <laughs> in an intense telepathic no, voice, mind. back in its head, it goes. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Let Bumpy's me bear witness. Um, and <laughs> I love the idea that like both Snoopy and I have many conversations which nobody else can hear. Yeah, <laughs> because I don't know if you guys know this. Do you telepath? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> Duke, Duke and Bump, or Duke and Snoopy just like having a conversation with each other, like. <laughs> yeah, eyebrow wiggling. Um, as uh, as things are winding down, Valgan, mm-hmm. you see, kind of by himself, a Leonin, lion. Ooh, a creature. lion man. Yes, a lion um, man. Uh, 
dressed in very similar paladin-esque kind of garb as you. Um, and uh, in a professional sense, you gather that he is also on a similar path as you. Okay. Um, another... Bahamutian. Not necessarily a Bahamutian. It's a different symbol on his chest. Um, but a doer of good mm. out in the world. Um, yeah, that's the impression you get. Um, and you haven't seen him before. All right. I will go and introduce myself. Quick, you know, not a game question. Are the Leonian uh, the same as they are in the d d folio that there's, like, basically anti-religion, or is this... Is this is, uh, all my... Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Then no. I'll, I'll start. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, do, I, do I recognize the symbol? Make a history check. I've never read about the Leonian, so it is... I'm pulling in from a different source for this particular... They're point. one of my favorites, but it's really interesting. I'll tell you later. Okay, okay. Um, history. Oh, it's not bad. Plus four. I'll say this is a character that Preston came up with. Okay. I mean, Six. Oh, no. Six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. No. Can I be next to him? Sure. Right? So I can I give him the help action by being like, oh, hey, that's like that thing, right, with the guy? If you make your own uh, history check, then you can do that. Man, you're the wrong people. <laughs> that's a nine. It's a nine? It's a nine. Yeah, not much help. Um, I was trying to give him the help action. I know, but... That's how help action works, man. I was being gracious enough of letting it happen that I'm way. I'm upset now. Um, <laughs> uh, so you see this Leon, and you don't recognize the, the holy symbol, but he kind of seems sitting by himself. Um, you walk up. Um, as you walk up, he uh, he kind of sta- he straightens himself. He's like, ah, hey, <laughs> fellow uh, holy man. <laughs> That's a way to put it. Yeah, hi, I'm Valgan. Hey, uh, hey, he's not the dragon guy. The, with the volcano stuff in the mount of death. See, he's not that guy. I know that much. Yeah. Uh, he looks at you and cheers. He's like, "Hey, Daraxus. Nice to meet you. What nice to meet you. Windfall. Uh, kind of passing through. Uh, on my way to uh, Droville. Uh, you guys just got a party going on. This is like this every night. Not every night. No. Uh, it's not all the time that." Uh, thousand-year-old prisoners get released from a uh, <laughs> rock. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> wow. Shit. But, um, yeah, no, uh, if you are, is what's happening in Drovel pressing? Ah, well, not super pressing, but uh, a little bit. Just, uh, well, I gotta find this uh, moonstone hammer thing uh, my order asked me to. I don't know. It's cool, but, uh, <laughs> I was hoping to reconnect with uh, an old friend of mine down there, uh, uh, Bahamut. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, maybe you know him, uh, Darius Tor. I don't know them, but that's my that's my last name. Oh, really? It must be related or something. Yeah. Uh, what? Who? Who are they? Um, above table. Was your dad's name Darius? Was it Darius? Yeah. Is that what we did? Yeah. Oh, to, oh, so I'm learning my dad's alive. Well, you're lo- you're knowing that this guy's looking for your dad. Okay. Um, sorry, I forgot that that's what we decided. Yeah, yeah. Was was their name? Yep. Um, well, rewind time a little bit there. Um, he says, "Darius, sort of like, you're going to have a hard time with that." Oh, really? Was he not in Drovel anymore? Uh, no, my father passed away when I was about 14 years old. He said, "Killed by a lord down in Drovel." He sits down for a second. He's like, "How old are you now?" Thirty-two now. Yeah. Wow. Has been a while since I've been there. I didn't realize I've been that long. I'm sorry. No, I, I appreciate that. It's something I'm planning on. I was on my way down to Drovel when I got uh, wrapped up in some things here in in Windfall, and I got to finish this before I can go down there and address that. Well, your father was a good guy could drink. <laughs> uh, maybe that's not something you want to know. Uh, well, I mean, shit. I think I've met you before then. When was that? Uh, you would have been, I don't know, six? Yeah, it was a long time ago. We were still in the forest back then, I think. Yeah. That's where we met. Um, well, I, I mean, I'd be happy to help you out with that, but I've got to finish things here in, in 
windfall. We uh, actually, you might want to stay. We're we got a lich problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's coming to assault the town with a bunch of mutated gnolls and um, trying to steal a bunch of dragon heart stones to make the city fly as his own personal fortress, I think, is the plan. God damn, when's that happening? Uh, I don't know, four days? He takes a big swig. <laughs> he pulls out a, a great sword from behind himself and he like, yeah, <clears throat> all of us sharp. Let's do it. Okay, we do the Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Predator <laughs> high five. <laughs> Predator high five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so uh, the Leon and Daraxis has joined the uh, killer assemblance of heroes involved in the battle. And I make sure I introduce my sister to the group and say, "Don't worry, uh, she has a lot of good information about uh, Elathor. Uh, we know that he started sacrificing the fellow disciples that I was a part of." Uh, Building up his power, so they're getting ready. Um, fucked up. <laughs> I would say Lena's still like a little woozy um, after having the alcohol, and I'm like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, your sister is gonna help us. I thought, when was she a good guy? Like, as of now? Yeah, like, oh, I checked. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I did all the checks, made sure she's not a sleeper agent, uh, did the whole, you know, zone of truth. Yeah, she's okay. legit because, you know, she came to the same realization I did that he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you need any more explanations She's kind of a dick. Uh, <laughs> no, other than where do you think she's going to stay in your oldest, like, family estate or in the green Well, our area? family estate is... Uh, much further north, and we have a battle and trial that I'm hoping that to recruit you for. That'll be later. Mm -hmm. But uh, eh, there's room in the belfry for um, for but... two bets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, remember, we, can, right, we have, we have a huge right. battle in three days. We just yeah. gotta get ready. Okay, slumber party. <laughs> yeah. I'm making pancakes in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, and she's an invoker, so fireballs come out of her belly. What? <laughs> It's not weird, just say it. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to pull Venwick aside and tell him that the throne room needs to be guarded at all times by people we trust. Yeah, so there are, there are as uh, this whole gathering started, mm -hmm. Venwick did send a few guards up that way, okay, cool. especially shortly after... Uh, uh, Duke came down, and uh, as a matter of fact, there's always been, now that the throne room's been opened, mm -hmm. uh, the Golden Warriors are still there, Jimmy the Juice is still on staff. Got it. Uh, so that, that whole upper area is pretty well guarded mm -hmm. overall. You guys have access because of who you are, but it's not for the I love the idea that like it, Duke just walked up there and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim, Jimmy, like at, on the very top floor, like the the last sort of uh, uh, room the, before you get to the throne room. While there's not anyone in, li, actually in the throne room at the moment, Jimmy was like, "Hey, uh, wait, uh, 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 looks looks serious." <laughs> 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 was like, Carry on, I said, uh, you uh, you do you. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, as uh, so with Venwick. Um, you know, he tells you that he's like, well, we've got uh, quite a bit of guards up there, but yes, yeah, very good concern. Um, uh, as uh, before the end of the night, I, I did want to uh, introduce you to uh, the uh, uh, outfitter that we have been able to secure for some of our higher end troops, which uh, you all definitely count, and we are divvying up the available magic items and supplies um, for uh, the battles ahead. Um, generously supplied by Lord Blackbone, who you have managed to convince to uh, supply us all with these things. Um, which initially he was hesitant, but spending uh, a fraction of his fortune for the safety of Windfall seems to have ended up being more important to him than anything else. So, um, Can't make money if you're dead. Uh, yeah, he brings you over to uh, uh, What's her name? El it's magic Stone. I can't remember. 
El El Elria Elria. Uh, what's her name? Is it Elria? Elria. You know what I'm talking about? I know. Uh-huh. The elf. The, the, yeah, the elder woman. Anyway, so she she's there. She's like, oh yes, hello. Um, and she's dancing with this much younger dude next to her. Um, and she's like, hold, hold, hold on, sweetie. Um, um, oh, yeah, so, so uh, I have the last of the supplies set aside specifically for you lot. Um, is now a good time to give them to you? Just so like, like, it's a table, a round table, a yeah. bunch of bloody fuckers. Like, yeah, so she's like, sure. she's like, very well. She takes, she takes another swig. She's a little tipsy. Um, she pulls pulls a uh, bag of holding out, um, and she gives you guys a bunch of stuff. Who's ready to write some shit down? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I elect Eric. <laughs> I, Absolutely. I am the keeper of things. Very well. So okay. you guys write this down, and then you can figure out who gets what sure. uh, later. Um, there is a one custom item. It's this first one, which is a potion of nimbleness. Um, and what that does is it sets your dexterity to 23 Ooh. For, for an hour. Okay. <laughs> um, there's only one of those. Uh, there is a cape of the Montebec, which Ooh. is single teleport. Um, three superior healing potions. Also very good. Uh, alchemy jug. Oh, that, they're right there. Ooh. Healing, yeah. <laughs> uh, alchemy jug. Uh, scroll of holy weapon. I mean, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and a scroll of Revivify and a 300 gold diamond to go with. Ooh. So, hold on. Uh, so you had Holy Weapon or Magic Weapon? Holy Weapon. Holy Weapon. Hi, Kitty. And then we had Revivify. Yep. Cat, 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 cat. Okay, cool. <laughs> we appreciate the donation. Um, hopefully these supplies will do you well in the battle to come. Um, Map cam. Map cam. Oh, I need to do them. All right, the ramp cam. Napcam is cat. That's a shame that Ro isn't here. Otherwise, this potion of nimbleness would be perfect for her. I guess we'll all have to drink it together. Lena, Lena's is very no. nice space too. No, 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 no she's no, watching. No, no, no. She's just oh, saying. She? Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow! What a shame. That's a bummer. <laughs> I mean. People get magic items when they show up to games. That's kind of how oh. Oh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> but the good news is, is that the ju- alchemy jug can have almost an unlimited supply of mayonnaise. I'm just saying. <laughs> <That's true>. Okay. <laughs> is that your blood sorted? What? Can the alchemy jug do blood? No. Yeah. It's like oil, it's like vinegar, it's just like all these it things. It does oil, vinegar, mayonnaise, water, uh, alcohol. I, it's just one of the things it can do. <laughs> but the thing I want it because it does it does do useful things, but then like it, but it's fun, you know. Yeah, it, but it's I, fun. Oh. But then Sky earlier on in the campaign was like, it's six thousand gold. It's expensive, yeah. Yeah, well that was I was using the Right. Yeah. The sane magic item price list, which is my kitty. So better than most me. things. Yeah. <laughs> magic item prices are still hard. The in the in game costs of things are so wildly <laughs> yeah. they don't make any sense. Yeah. Um let's see. Um All right. Um with that, um we could probably just distribute some of these things uh ahead of time. Um uh, let's, well, let's, let's go ahead and talk about that after, because sure. we can, we can talk figure about out divvying up sh- uh, shit. I wanted to say that I've, lo- I've both on the search and even, even within Windfall campaign, the Crimson Injector, uh, 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 Crimson Amplifier, Amplifier. I, even just typing Crimson is not. Crimson. Showing up. Okay, we'll fix that. Fix we'll that too. Um, yeah. So as things wind down, and you guys uh, find some new allies. Uh, figure out a little bit more of the place in your world and accept a much needed night of rest mm-hmm. and uh, acknowledgement of all of the work you've done within the city and gotten to party with the people that were trapped and uh, see the fruits of your labor firsthand, even on the eve of a impending conflict 
You guys make your way to your beds. I would like to retrieve my golden dragon stone. Yes, you may do that. Um, yes, and the dragon heart stones are easy to re- recover from the throne room where they where they appealed, appeared. Um, so yeah, you can use your dragon heart again, and you can have the lethodox stone reinserted in your shield um, to have your magic item restored to abilities. Um, I also have a new fun idea for the dragon stones. <laughs> well. Jokes on you. Nina drunkenly just ate the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that you do. Uh, <laughs> snacks, guys. <laughs> snacks. <laughs> we can reacquire those in the future. <laughs> you gotta wait. You gotta wait like 16 hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to impress Snoopy. Like just. <laughs> Um, all right, so you guys find your way to your beds. You get that much needed long rest. Long rest. Yay! And with awesome. the few days of uh, I quiet remaining. Yes. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Uh, did we have temp hit points or something? Yes. We did. Yeah, oh. so your hit points should go down. Tremendously. Yes. Yeah. I was I was looking at them like, wow, like like everyone had above 100 hit points. I'm like, yeah. oh, am I doing something wrong? Right. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Yeah, you cast no, aid. No, no, no. Uh, no. The one lady cast aid. Oh. Yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. We had yeah. aid and temporary hit points mm-hmm. on top of it. Yeah. 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 There's a lot. Aid just raises your maximum, I think. Yeah. Um, but yes, so you guys, you guys get that long rest. You get uh, your... You get some supplies, some new acquaintances, some new friends, and uh, we're going to go ahead and call it tonight. Yay! Yay. Yay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys, for joining us on this this episode of Above Table (laughs) and Windfall. (laughs) Uh, As usual, you can uh, send us a few bucks in the donation link below if you want. Um, There's also a a link to our YouTube if you want to go see all of the past episodes, with the exception of, like, two. You might want to do that because the finale is coming up and you want to know everything that's going on. It's true that. If you got got some time, at least do the last, like, five or six episodes to kind of get where we're at right now. Um, But if you want to take it from the top, you can do that, too, and it's all there. Um, But, yeah, we appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. 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 It's like...